We're here because we recognize that Pennsylvania has a problem. We have a, an epidemic here, the likes of which we have not seen before. Uh, it's an epidemic of addiction, drug addiction, and we need to address it. And we are doing a number of things at the state level, starting with assembling a really formidable team of people who are committed to making sure that we address this uh, epidemic uh, the way we, we should. So I want to thank this team of really first-class individuals, talented, experienced group of people that they are, for coming together to help all of us in Pennsylvania address this, this issue. So wh what are we doing? Well, today uh, Dr. Levine is going to sign the standing order that will give access to all Pennsylvanians to naloxone, which is a life-saving drug, just one part of the way we're trying to address this opioid uh, epidemic. But we have done a lot of things uh, already. Uh, we've announced uh, that support uh, schools that are carrying naloxone. And I think as we've pointed out, uh, the Department of Health has already been awarded $900,000 from the federal government to address the uh, heroin epidemic crisis. Uh, in my budget, I asked for $5 million. We talked about that earlier for the Department of Drugs and Alcohol. Uh, to try to address uh, the, uh, uh, this issue and assist counties who are trying to address this issue. Uh, my budget also included $2.5 million to the Department of Human Services for naloxone kits. The point is we have a problem and, and we in Pennsylvania are trying to do something about it. We've got to recognize that and, and this is the, the key. This is not something, and as the chairman said, actually you're chairman twice over, the county commission and the, the uh, Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency. But we have a problem. Prescription drug abuse is a really big problem in Pennsylvania. One in four families suffer from the effects of substance abuse. Your next door neighbors, people you know, members of your family, all of our families. This is an issue that affects a lot of Pennsylvanians. Heroin and opioid overdose is now the leading cause of accidental death in Pennsylvania, not automobile accidents. In 2014, 2,400 people died from drug overdose just in Pennsylvania. 2,400 people died from overdose. Too many people in Pennsylvania are being hurt by this. It affects, us, affects obviously those who are addicted, but it also affects the family members. That's a problem. So over the past nine months, my administration has done a lot of things talked about to try to address this issue. But I think the single most important thing, and all of us have talked about this, is addressing the stigma that is associated with drug addiction. This is a disease. This is a disease. And it's a disease like cancer. It's a disease like heart disease, like diabetes, and all the others. And it's something that we have to address and treat in that same, same way. This is something that we have to treat just like those diseases. And our focus, our programs are focused on that, making sure that we understand that this is a disease. Addiction is a disease. So here are some of the other things that, that we've done or are doing. Shortly after I took office, I created an interagency heroin task force. They've issued guidelines for healthcare professionals who prescribe opioids. Uh, that's one of the things that we can do. And in doing this, this task force and the, the medical profession have increased early intervention. They've made it possible for police and other emergency responders to administer naloxone, but also figure out what to do once that naloxone has been administered. It's not just enough to revive somebody who's been addicted. That's a, it's a wake-up call. It's a cry for help, and we need to respond to that. Uh, and, and the things that, that everybody associated with this program we're starting to do more and more of is make sure that people who suffer addiction and show this sign of because of the overdose, not only get the treatment from naloxone, but actually have some way to move forward in their lives.